with the Bitvest of Hertz, they told him to leave immediately. So, well, Bitvest Hertz were not ready for him as yet. They had to send him out on loan to Lamontville Golden Arrows. So, I think Gabardino Mango might have a little bit of a score to see. So, Bitvest Hertz up and running then. Courtesy of Tabang Monare, that's the perfect start. We've got Gabardino Mango and uh, Eliza Rogers. Playing a lot of pressing football. Of course, uh, Celtic. Uh, desperate, as I said, to be doing at bit visits. Remember his story with uh, King Kalusha Bjarne and uh, that it was too late and apparently you've got to water it three hours before so there was a bit of a complaint think of personalities when you say there is Bloemfontein Celtics what do you look forward to in terms of personality this is where fans can be deadly as well we saw them playing the counter to deadly effect against Sundowns in that cup final a robust challenge from Sankara. Counter attack. Dane's late leaking up with the Garbatino Mango. That's a late oh, that's challenge. That's a bad challenge. That's a very bad challenge. He should have been booked. Hasn't he been booked? Yeah, he's booking him he now. Has. That was a bad challenge from Robert Sankara. Deservedly earns the game's year first yellow. Former Free State Stars man. Um at this ground 2-1 win it was so for celtic the back in fact it's little abika switching play now i think this would favor him and it is him that takes it looking for rogers on the back post there but uh, the last touch there came off the big man robert sankara be able to run it off Very well it's got good technique i remember when he passed into the scene i think he was playing for carrara kicks and uh, moved on to super sport and for the david says no ways so did you ask him how he got to that the coach would have wanted the uh, auto and it was effective for him uh, to do that day in plate. Lekay. Trying to pick out uh, Robert Sankara on the blind side there. The big uh, Burkina Faso man. Still, well, that's a bit vets, vets that have themselves back in front. Courtesy of a goal of a man who used to score, who used to play for Celtic, Matasela. And uh, we get a look at him now for these remaining 20 minutes. Seems to be okay, Sankara. He started the yes, uh, Sankara. for Celtic but they've gone with Masana who we haven't seen much of him but that's just how confident the coach is about him and uh, we still have to see just uh, what kind of game does it bring in the peaking another free kick against Bloemfontein Celtic and Sankara in the wars early on the center back from Burkina Faso leaning all over Felicia I'm not too sure how Nduna, the uh, Piero, called them, but it's alongside that. But he called uh, them girl boys. I think he was just getting his uh, words mixed girl up. Girl boys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a great initiative to be able to use so many...
13 goal attempts. Of the Forrest Marseille suffered a similar injury with three state stars. He also picked it up in the first half. Seek it and done by the bounce, he keeps it in play. So. Now, Rusike gets past Lex Labica. Felicia waits in the middle, gets past him again, tormenting the Celtic defense. That's the one aspect of his uh, game with Lex Labica that he's going to learn that in those areas you don't dive, you guard players. In fact, in that first instance, he's uh, slipped, but the second one, he dived, and uh, great work at this time, the defending champions. On the first day... Turns and shoots. And there's uh, Evans Yusike. With uh, Lyle Lekay delivering. Header at the back post, offside. Decision against uh, Robert Sankara. And it's interesting to see that because uh, the last touch came off uh, one of the defenders. Uh, initially, it was Sankara on or off or an opportunity, but it was uh, Virgil Fris finally getting some work. Now at the other end, Risike battling away with Sankara. Still the seeker. Try and make something out of the game. It's already 15 minutes to go. Or a little less than that. Masberger with everybody back now in that penalty area looking to defend. And the header goes wide. Sankara. Missing the chance. They're yeah, losing the game is one, but a little bit of courage you can take from the fact that uh, that second half performance was certainly something to write home about. You can only hope that they'll start like that in the next game. And hope that that is a good omen for them. So it's not been a happy place for Blue Celtic to come in a recent times they'll take a little bit of courage from the fact that uh, Matovo, which was the same case last season Katande ended up being the most goal scorer for Kaisis I think the scoring problems is not only just uh, something that they're going through this season it has been the case and even the wins that they they will have had coming towards uh, this time on Hato, Celtic will look to him as an outlet, someone with a little bit of pace that can cause problems for any defense in, any, in matches against Chiefs away from home. Chiefs have won 23 of the 29 matches that they've played against the uh, Lane Celtic, dating back. In front of you from one side to the other so that maybe you can come up with it. Look very positive. Five draws that they've had, and they've lost uh, three times. Unbeaten at home, by the way. Home record of Chiefs. On the flip side, the Celtic, on the road, have one win and one um, and three draws. So a total of four points that they've collected from five home uh, away men. It's a good football here. Yeah, a great combination. Of... Could it get? Uh... No goals in this game, and uh, for all for all the endeavour, Chiefs very little to show for it, of nothing at all to show for it. Abdul Razak now, but uh, good awareness there from uh, Kuzwayo to get off his defender. No, not yet. For his uh, kind of game, which he does all the time when there's full fitness. Speaking of ball players, yes, Mulangwani. Koyana this time. He's been booked. Koyana. I want to score the pretty goal. 
Now you'd think that they would have a Machoho in the box there now. And just hang it in there and hope for something. Oh, the referee is finding more time here from this. Stadium of Santa Temulime. The bishop stands. The passionate fans that always come out to support Bloemfontein Celtic. Good game last time out against Budvest. Seems to have regained his confidence. That saw him make a name for himself at uh, Kaiser Chiefs. Went overseas, came back, joined Bitvers Vets. Seems to be settled now at uh, Super Sport. Hoping for that near post flick on. Couple of big men in uh, Celtic colors. Send it straight back to where it's from. A big man you're talking about. This man, Sankara, as well, former Free State Stash. 26 year old uh, president or prime minister of uh, one of the uh, countries with or where he uh, holds a passport in Burkina Faso playing their difficulties of late and they've got some serious problems now until it only one side that corner so far Plumpertain Celtic with uh, a couple of them the keeper has been all too troubled in the uh, early stages of this encounter a, a weapon and poison will offer that for them you don't want to lose that those, those kind of uh, characteristics in a game because if you look at the pace of Tuso Fala, it's almost the same approach he wants to have that balance Kingston Carter will offer that strength up front the generation that got Celtic promoted back into the uh, AFSA Premiership but uh, then, honey, in speaking of those type of players that have done it, you're right. Let's don't see it in Europe, but it's good to be watching a lot of European football. No. Nah. Same sign, the same instruction. Mm. Unless if, unless if Luca, Lucas must have taught them. <laughs> My <Mark> fish. <laughs> Years of Super DC coverage now. Yeah. Sangara has played an important role in the defense so far. Amen. As mentioned earlier, holds a passport for Tuzapala. I was ripping up the near side. There is that Zimandia speed. It's quick. Very quick. And this is where he becomes effective. That's where you see how effective that speed can work for him. And I say this because with the physique that he's got. Over in those two challenges. Yeah. He's the, the second of which, and that's where he got the yellow card. Yeah. So getting to the ball is picked from Yatama. Remember that uh, yeah, of us in that uh, impressive net bank cup run when they were still in the uh, first division and went through to the final. Looking for the tough corner then with Celtic. They once again are getting moments. Sankara with the uh, latest shot. Vital touch from Boise, that knee. There's always pressure on Sankara. We're talking Black Leopard. Pala, or rather Gata. Robert Sankara. 21 year old born in Abidjan in a quarter book. But he is of a Burkina Faso descent. Letabika back to Sankara for Siwelele. Koto making it on the blind. Former Orlando Pirates defender. Papi Homani changes made by the two sides. Let's talk first of all about Brimpontein Celtic. They made four changes, and those are one defend, one midfield, and up front as well. And also changes. Tameka Kadino de Lepedi, Jose Kopa, Mose Sitere and Jaka, Poloka de Tapi. Porta, Msila amongst them. Every time they play matches, you see that man with a chair fed. That's Porta. Not to win awards, a award winner. 
for the support he shows the beautiful game he's in fourth this season so no change is concerned no change at all as far as the Amakosi are concerned well, and arrows have made a uh, upward movement they are now fifth and uh, it is Ramagalela as it means Rodney Ramagalela chips in trying to play an early ball there's a lazy pass I've got to say from Ramagalela his work rate is second to none so remember a few seasons ago while still playing the national first division for leopards he finishes top score in national first division from galera here comes pulling Tulani, cutting inside Tulani, and it's a timeless challenge give it to polokwane city that they are able to dominate at the home side by exerting so much pressure in that midfield because they are controlling it and it seems as if the home side misses the likes of any goal themselves now yes and dengani goes for a shot and blocked away this time around Yes, Brian, if you look at the penalty, how it was taken, uh, Tobane Mwamo there, there wasn't too much force behind the ball because what he did was he showed the... Yes, Brian. Another season, one nil against Platinum Stars. Baroka FC, how can we say that the free kick he got fell at the Sayang Kalshakur in the tail. So to pensa na sa polukani si Tising Dinky wa get havan class, but they're supposed to. Give instructions and lay the message across because the defenders sometimes they get to anyone could have put it better than Tumlan MCB speaking of hair do's and hair don'ts in the KB suffering a case of uh, lack of confidence in that regard and you look at those minutes and plenty of the minutes of the men out on that field, including the lack of goals that go with it. Keeping the uh, movement going with Linda Shiba. It's been that uh, lively, the true attributes that he is gifted with. He could add more in the way of goals here and being a finisher. He's come close to that. He has come closest to finding the back of the net this evening. A couple of men having taken knots. If I remember well, I watched him play. I can't quite remember who it was up against uh, at the Athlon Stadium. He scored a beauty of a goal. The goalkeeper actually came. Um, walking way out of his line and uh, Wana caught him with a long range of shots. I think uh, most people saw him before sign, um, Celtic signed him. Work of Shiba, the K keeping tabs on him, quite running off the ball from Chippa. Oh, that was threatening. Explosion and eruption from those fans in the way of the uh, noise they are giving. They are already very important. Musanya Thomas first touch. Papaus! Not up well. Not up so well. No routine. better side a lot of it has to do with that man and the ability to hold it up part of it but I think it's from 90 minutes ahead of today the 31 year old who played for Feast Day Stars having returned from Asia